halves, really, you know, kind of struggled the first half. And um, they made a run in the third quarter and uh, took a pretty big lead. And you, we knew at that point we needed to do a little bit of pressing. And I thought we did a pretty good job of, of coming back and had opportunity. We had three shots at the, uh, at the, uh, uh, with about four seconds left to, to get the win and uh, miss the shots. And, uh, but I thought we played extremely well to come back from uh, the deficit we were and, and to fight through. And then uh, against University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley, it was a little different. We started off probably one of our best quarters that we've had. Uh, Ty Doucette really, uh, we got the ball inside. And she was being very productive. Uh, then got in foul trouble. And so she missed the second and third quarter, basically. And uh, we never could recover. I thought they shot the ball extremely well. The great thing about it is they run the same offense as us. And uh, yeah, so it, it makes a big difference uh, when we can get some of these other kids back and continue to work with them. But any questions? Um, you go to Texas and you drop to what, what's, what's maybe the biggest thing that you can point to and say, this has to get better if we're going to start progressing as a team? I think for sure, I mean, it's, it's not a question, you know, is the fact that the health defense. You know, we, we predicate ourselves on keeping the ball to one side of the floor, and we're doing a better job of it, forcing it, forcing it baseline, and our help is either laid or it gets out the way. we got to learn how to get in the way. It's, it's, it's that simple to me, because uh, we, we do a fairly good job of guarding the ball, uh, in our position, and our we, we have three positions we talk about on the ball, in the night, and in health. And the first two are really good. The last one we really got to work on, and uh, we got to find kids that are going to want to, you know, sacrifice. Sometimes you got to sacrifice your body for it too, taking a charge and all that. So, uh, you know, we got to make, make sure that we get better at it. And I think the added fact that we're going to add these two kids, uh, Kendall Bess and and. Uh, Coco Daniels, I think they'll help that that situation. Is it as simple as um, you know, so many freshmen and sophomores that come from their teams and the way that they play defense, and it's just about learning how you guys play defense and the right way to play on defense? Yeah, you know, we looked at each other uh, in the first game against Corpus and said uh, we're basically coaching a high school team. You know, just coming out. And most of them, the bad thing too is that most of them play zone. It's not even close. Even a regular high school man-to-man -man is not even what we do. Uh, so now they've taken not only one step, but two steps uh, kind of up. And, you know, you, a lot of it's a mindset, too. You know, you have to have mental toughness. You have, and you've got you to gotta believe in it so much because you're forcing the ball somewhat to the goal on the baseline. So, you know, without that help there, it's hard to, make, it's hard to believe that it's going to really work. And I think that's kind of – we're second-guessing a little bit. And I understand it, and we're just going to continue to work at it. Yeah, I'm anxious to see uh, today in practice with Kendall. You know, she uh, she did a PRP tr uh, shot la injection last week. Uh, she was feeling really good, so we wanted to make sure that we could you know prolong her uh, you know her pain or try to stop some of the pain in her patella. It wasn't really our ACL, but uh, I think she'll may see some. Hopefully, she'll see maybe a little bit of playing time on Saturday. And uh, Coco Daniels will be back Saturday. She's finishing up finals, and as soon as we get her grades in, she she should be uh, eligible to to participate in the game on on Saturday. And how big is it going to be to get post help and to get some more size and, and rebound? Yeah, if you go to the game when we warming up and you see just the, the hybrids, we call them working out, just three of them by themselves, look like they're lonely. So yeah, you're going to add two more. Uh, and two more that can that that I really believe they can help us in different ways too, not just the same way, but in different ways. So I think that could help. Now the thing is going to be it's going to be a little up and down because they haven't played in a while, but that's just part of it. They're going to have to get a feel for the game again and all that, and feel the way we want to play. But I'm glad it's now and not in January. What different ways can they help you out? I think on the defensive side, and that we, we were talking about help defense and all that. I think both of them are. I see it in practice. Both of them are really good in helping and. And, uh, and rebounding, you know. Uh, both of them are completely different kind of players. Kendall's more of an offensive player, can shoot the three, can shoot the high post jumper, 15 foot in. She's pretty good up and under. And Coco's just defense and rebounding, something that I always look in for a kid. Tough, you know, it's like putting a bull in a china closet. She's going to run over some people. And, and we kind of need that to replace, you know, when, when, when Ty's more of a finesse player. 
So all three of them are different and a good different for us. 